welcome to the Mishra Tech. Today we are going to learn HTML. As you know, HTML refers to a hypertext markup language and it is mostly widely used language on the web where to create or to develop a web pages. And it was created by a Bernard Lee in 1991. And it is further updated to a 2.0 specification which has published in 1995 and major updates it has been come over. And now we are using a HTML5 version which is the extensions of a 4.0.1 where in later 2012. Uh, then as you know let's start. HTML stands for a hypertext markup language and it is mostly widely used language to write a web pages or to design a page and it is a not a scripting language it is a markup language it's a hypertext markup language here you can see hypertext refers to a way in which the web pages html documents are linked together thus the link available on the web page is called hypertext where the web uh, website or uh, not contain a single page. The several page or several number of pages are linked together to make a web page. So the linking of a page or link together it's called as a hypertext. Then as its name suggests HTML is a markup language I previously mentioned which means you use HTML is simply a markup. It is a text document which where with tags, links, paragraph, image, audio, video, you can see many other things there and the pop-up and the message pop-up and we can a message and many more other things. Here, the, uh, it is a text document with the tags that tell a web browser how to structure it to a display where the text, it tells the web page or a web browser or any browser you can take uh, it tells to how to display the web page we can see uh, and it was developed with the intent of defining a structure of documents like headings, paragraph, lists and many more other scientific information between researchers. Now we are seeing in a basic HTML document like doc type HTML it refers to an HTML version html the html the web page the html uh, st uh, start with the html with the close html and the head tag and the body where we write uh, anything in the uh, body section and the title which is refers to in a title in let's see further on all all tags we, we will see all tags now let's run this code the basic html document before that you can see let's save it in a html file like you can any take a, any program you can execute your any program i i am executing now basic html document save it with the dot html extension only and you can use a any editor uh, now i am using uh, notepad plus plus then after saving it saving it then open in your web browser. You can open any. Uh, you can, uh, in system it uh, has been set as a default. Uh, when you are when you are clicking it within a file, it will open automatically. Or you can open with any other extension. You have so many Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, Firefox, etc. Now let's see this. Yeah, I have used the Notepad plus plus and saved my program and here you can see the test.html what the normal document html document structure welcome document contains go here yes now okay wh what will happen when we have made change in any program and any code let's see that here you can go you can you do you observe where's the title and the header one and the paragraph and i will go to the title as if 
but back and welcome you can welcome and document goes here and my first program and I will save it then I will come back to your web browser and I will refresh yes here you can see the title has been changed where the tab contains the title has been displayed there the I have changed Mifratec and here you can see the my first program the document the paragraph and this is the header one welcome message yes it will show you this like output I have shown and now we will refer how HTML tags will work we can see a many tags in a HTML it is a markup language and we use a many tags to format the content and these tags are enclosed with the angle braces angle brackets some of you tags contain a closing tags and some of will not contain a closing tag for example you can see as a doc type it does not contain a closing tag doc type it is an html tag where the tag defines the html version and the html tag it contains and it encloses the complete html document and mainly compromises with the document header which represents the head and document body the head tag where the structure has been defined header we can keep like a title link any many more and the title one and it is used in the inside the head tag body the main structure is the body that body tag represents the documents body which keeps html tags like h1 header one division paragraph break and many more h1 it uh, that this tag represents the heading and the paragraph p and it is a document structure the related tags where document declaration tags come up with the top document tag devoc type here you can see and the html start and enclosure and the head the document header related tags where title link and the body where the web page has designed and the body will make up and closure element you can see the angle braces now let's see the doc type declaration the doc type declaration tag is used by the web browser to understand the version of html used in the document current version is the html is 5 and it makes use of the following declaration it takes the automatically there are many other declaration types where depending on that what version we are using tag along with the other html tags heading tags there is not any h1 we are the heading tags uses a different size of your headings html also has a six levels of in a headings which we use h1 h2 h3 h4 and h5 and h6 while displaying any heading browsers are one line before the one line after that heading let's see the example Here you can see previously told while displaying any heading browser sets one line before and one line after that heading. Here you can see this is the heading one the h1 
H2, H3, H4, H5, H6 where you can give, give a many other, let's see a code Okay, now I, I will open with the notepad as you, okay, you can see here Doc type and the head contains the title the body contains the header part and it has a closing tag also and close html this is the heading one two three four five six let's i will reverse this two three four five and last one is the six save the file open the browser yes you can see six five four three two one the main heading it will goes one by one the line after one by one yes you can see see the output here head dot html and next paragraph tag the tag offers a way to structure your text into different paragraphs each paragraph of a text should go in between an opening p and a closing p tag we can see the example the paragraph tag should contain an opening and a closing tag it must must and should we have to close the tag and you can see the code let's see an example and let's see an output here you can see an output here's the first paragraph of a text here the second paragraph of a text and the third and you can add many more and the next one is line break tag here the break element uh, to give a break when the text or a paragraph continuously we are entering a text the line back tag has been so the line back tag has been used here whenever you use the break element anything following start with from the next line this tag is an example of an empty element where you don't need opening and closing tags there is a nothing to go between them here we no need to write inside the line breaking tag it is just an empty element when where we give a uh, angle braces we are closing angle braces it will take automatically in way and it will display the break element as in a next line next line to the next line the be a tag has a space between the character be a and the forward slash if you omit this space world of browsers will have trouble rendering in the line break while if you miss the forward slash character just use it is not a valid x html we can use just a br closing and closing the angle braces in older version of a html it will trouble troubleshoot the problem and next the centering the content you can use a tag to put any content in the center of the page for any table cell here you can see an example document type html head title was centering the content example close head the head must be closed within the title and you can add a thing like a title or a linking only the the body will tell the structure of the page paragraph and now you can see a center the tag is like tag element is center open angle braces center close angle braces this text is in the center and the center tag it has a closing tag opening and closing tag close center close body and close html the output you can see here only the first one the paragraph one displayed as normal and when we declared in the center tag inside the center tag the paragraph has been displayed in the center the text is in center you can see 
and the next horizontal lines and horizontal lines are used to visually break up section of the element or document the IHR tag creates a line from the current position in the document to the right margin and breaks the line accordingly you have seen a break tag break element tag the horizontal lines make a line where you can see I will show an example here yes here you can see the HR element yeah there is it is on also an empty element where it does not have an opening and a closing tag we have to declare a HR space backslash you can see title has been given to the horizontal line example this paragraph here HR and you can see a output here the horizontal line has been displayed and within the break also HR tag is an example of the empty element where you don't need any opening and a closing tag as there is nothing to go in between them the HR element has a space between the characters HR and a forward slash and same the world of browsers not it will get a trouble and miss forward slash and a character just use HR in it is not valid in his XHTML and next non breaking spaces and it is also a most importantly used in HTML we can take an example here directly I will go to any example let's see afterwards output suppose you want to use the phrase 12 angry man okay 12 angry man here you would not want a browser to split the 12 comma angry and a man across two lines appears in the movie 12 angry man in case where you don't want the client browser to break tag you should use a non-breaking space entity instead of a normal space we can use a space bar to a space an element or to break an element we, we can declare a break element here it is a non-breaking spaces understand for example when coding the 12 angry man in a paragraph you should use something similar to the following code let's see the following code here you can see an example you can see here the paragraph we, ha we have written the code in the paragraph an example of this technique appears in the movie 12 and NBSP refers to a non-breaking space and it is defined and it is syntax as and NBSP colon angry and yes and the man and the output has been given to the 12 angry man oh, there we go yes let's see the output let's we run the code Okay, I will write one and here you can see I will write one. Uh, okay, comma 12 and angry and NBSP colon. Right? It's right. NBSP angry men okay and in B SP non breaking space let's save this and let's open the file because I, I have used the test.html only yes you can see non breaking space because it it uh, it can use it or it can't 
Here you can see we can give a similar like that in NBSP or we can give a space. When we write in the code, we will define as an NBSP, non-breaking space. You have seen the output. Now let's go to the next HTML elements. HTML element is defined by a starting tag and if the elements contain the other content and it ends with the closing tag. Whether the element name is preceded by a forward slash as shown with the few tags. Some of the few tags we had uh, displayed here. The paragraph tag, header 1, division and br. br is an empty element tag. The forward slash, the end tag must be defined with the forward slash p close so here p is an element h1 is an another html element there are some html elements which don't need to be closed such as image horizontal lines break elements and these are known as a void elements and you can search you can refer to the void elements the some few are image horizontal lines and a break elements are these are called as an void elements html tag versus element the difference between the html tag and the element how the html tag will work and how the html element will work html tags are used to hold the element hold the html element where the tab where we write a code with the starting with the html doc type html and ends with the html where element holds the content the content has been hold by the html element the paragraph will hold the content where where what what would be displayed there the document the my first program html tag starts with and ends with the in element whatever written with the html tags are the html element html tags are almost like like keywords where every single tag has a unique meaning in element html element specifies the general content because in tag we we can see a doc type html it is an html tag or it can say or it not uh, it is an, a unique meaning where head tag it is has a unique meaning where the header part will contain and a body tag where the structure will contain and the, where the element it is a general content where the paragraph it has been a general content and the image it, it has been a general content so it defines these are the main major part of the difference in the html tag and html element now let's see html attributes what are the html attributes we have making some points here previously we have seen the html tags and their usage just like a headings paragraph and other tags we used them so far in their simplest form but most form of the html tags can also have attributes which are extra bits of information like let's see within the attributes an attribute is used to define the characteristics of an html element and is placed inside the elements opening tag all attributes are made up of two parts a name and a value let's see what is the name and what is the value the name is the property you want to set for example the paragraph p element is an example carries an attribute whose name is align which you can use to indicate the alignment of a paragraph on the page and the value the value is what you want value of the property is to set always put within the quotations the below example shows the three possible values of align attributes left center right the name and the value 
You understand? When you see an example, let's see the example. Here you can see the name here the name refers to a paragraph which is the paragraph element and the value refers to an alignment or any other any other attribute alignment or title id class these are some core attributes uh, here you can see alignment left it has been assigned to the left and you can see alignment left center right where the attribute is defined the text or the paragraph the name uh, is displayed like output where the center you can use the center element where when we given a value we use the align with the name here you can see the output now you, you can better understand what is the name and what is the value and next some of the core attributes the four core attributes html elements there are so many core attributes we have taken it just like a four main 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 core attributes id title class and style let's see one by one what the attributes tell and what how it works on the web pages id the id attribute of an html tag can be used to uniquely define identify an element within the html page there are two primary reasons might want to use an id attribute on an element now you can see if an element carries an id attribute as a unique identifier it is possible to identify just that element and its content if you have two elements on the same name within the web page or a style sheet the style sheet we will see in the next session or a next page where you know the style sheet as a cascading style sheets you can use the id attribute to distinguish between the element that have the same name the id where it refers to the when the given name and we want to execute within the same paragraph the it refers to an a like here you can see an example you can understand here the pid we have declaring in the paragraph the id name was a html this para explains what is html and id css this para explains the cascading style sheets because you knowing an id uh, it will be discussed in the further the style sheets let's move there and the title attribute the title attribute gives a suggested title for the element the syntax of a title attribute is similar as explained for the id attribute you can see p title is equals to html this title explains what is html and this behavior of this attribute will depend upon the element that carries it also it is often to display as a tooltip when cursor comes over the element while the element is loading we can see for the this attributes or explained in a, another class when we are discussing the class uh, style sheets the class attribute is used to associate an element with the style sheet and uh, specifies the, the class element you will learn yeah, I, will, I have told let's see further this is the style attribute like here where we define the style attribute allows you to specify the cascading style sheet rules within the element the style attribute contains where the how the font would be how the color and what the size and what the width height minimum here you can see style the font family it refers to a which font has been used the color the color code and some text the paragraph here you can see the color code was red some text it has been displayed as a red and font family has been arial it has been displayed 
and next generic attributes and we have discussed some attributes previously here you can see a generic attributes like where align realign background color let's see what are the options and the function there align align refers to an alignment where right left uh, center tag center center sorry center right left center you are you have seen an example and what what's the align function horizontally align tags we align it defines in a top medium or bottom or sorry top middle and bottom vertically align stacks with an html element the normal align a l i g n is to refers an a horizontal and we align the vertical align it refers to a top middle bottom and bg color the uh, background color we are we are used to say a numerical hexadecimal rgb values and the yeah you can say ash ff 0000 this is the bg color where we have used as a background image or a background color places a background image behind an element background url places background image behind an element this we will see a further the id class you have seen the width and the height the numerical values these are the numerical values where when we take any table or when we take any image or when we take any any element the, this should be a must be an a this size of a width and this size of a height the 100 and uh, 100 by 100 50 by 100 you can give any values and it will be displayed and next html formatting we can see here uh yes html format html formatting you can see a many more if you use a word processor you must be familiar with the ability to make a text bold it italicized underlined and many more etc in word processor or a word pad now we can disk uh, we had seen there we have used it uh, easily press a button like a bold here we as we have to use a code that is called as on a formatting example let's take one by one let's take a first as a bold the bold element it is defined with an b and a closing b here we define inside the body you can see the following word uses a bold typeface where we have to declare within the which word has want to be we want which word has been bold the element has been entered there you can see the following produced output the following word uses a bold typeface the bold has been bold and next underline tag underline text anything appears within the u on closing u element it is displayed with underline as shown below here you can see same thing where when you are typing a bold italicized or underlined the same code the same where we were defined in an inside the body and we have make an which word is specified or which paragraph must be specified the whole paragraph must be underlined and whole paragraph must be it allows like we have to give you just like you and closing you between the you and closing you we have to enter in a text or a paragraph or anything we have put in it or the there moon sized font as obviously known what is a moon sized font it will display as some of the uh you can see here if you don't know the content of a tt closing tt element is written in a moon spaced font most of fonts are known as a variable width font because the different letters are different widths 
for example the letter m is wider than i letter i in a moon space you want however each letter at the same width here you can see the moon space at the it has been written inside the body and written inside the tt the element tt element now let's go to the html meta tags where html lets you to specify a meta data additional important information about the document is in a variety of ways the meta element can be used to include a name value pairs describing their properties uh such as the author expiry date well if uh, let's see an example uh, you understand easily the meta tag is used to provide a such additional information the tag is an empty element this tag also an empty element no opening and closing tag here so say uh, does not have a closing tag but it carries information within the attributes you can include one or more meta tags in your document based on your what information you want to keep in your document but in general uh, meta tags do not impact the physical appearance of the document here you can see make it in a mind meta tags do not impact the physical appearance of the document so from appearance point of view it, if it does not matter if you include them or not it will not display it will not appear in the web page it will not it will not contain any information it will contain information it will works as an attribute if it is information carried with an attribute when we define adding a meta tag to your document some of the elements which we want to include you can see here before going to the example you can add metadata to your web pages by placing inside the header of the document which is represented by the head and a closing head tags a meta tag can have a following attributes in addition to it core attributes we can see an attribute and the description what we include in the meta tags the name the content the scheme and the http equivalent we refer e q u i v the name name of for the property can be anything you can give a, anything an example includes the keywords description author uh generator revised any name or a place content specifies the property value the attribute will carry the scheme uh interprets the property value but uh, content it will be displayed as a kind of content and http equi and yes here you can see uh, response to a message headers for example http equi can be used to refresh the page or set a cookie where values include the content type expires refresh and a set cookie here you can see here specifying keywords you can use the tag to specify important keywords related to the document and later these keywords are used to the search engines while indexing your web page for a searching purpose for example we have taken a document simple document structure and we are using a meta tag inside meta name the keywords the name must be has been included and the content what is the content html comma meta tags tags meta data head body close you can see the output here we have defined in a meta tag and it has been nothing worked as an and we, it has been not showed and it not, not been displayed so we have mentioned meta tags do not impact on a physical appearance of the document we can include or not after that setting cookies where to store where to refresh 
क्योंकि सा डेटा सॉर्टेड इन स्मॉल टेक्स्ट फाइल्स ऑन यूर कंप्यूटर एंड इट इज एक्सचेंज बिटवीन वेब ब्राउजर एंड वेब सर्वर टू कीप ट्रैक ऑफ वेरियस इंफॉर्मेशन बेस्ड ऑन यूर वेब एप्लीकेशन नीड यू कैन यूज मेटा टैक टू स्टोर कुकीस एंड क्लाइंट साइड लेटर दिस इंफॉर्मेशन कैन बी यूज टू वेब सर्वर टू ट्रैक और साइट विजिटर फॉर एग्जाम्पल you can see when you are opening any any web page or you can open any any website uh the pop up will appear agree the setting cookies the cookies has been used because when you are searching in nowadays i can explain a simple example like in, you can take any browser or i, I will take an instagram when you search for a clothes uh then if you once you search for any product the product has been shown when you close open the when you close open the uh, ads will come after the in the story also and when you <coughs> when you search in the browser the automatically it has been showed in the instagram also like the cookies has been maintained and cookie i mean i keep track of various information based on the web application or the difference between the web browser and the web server and for example and another simple example following is an example of a redirecting a current page to another page after 5 seconds if you want to redirect immediately then do not specify the content attribute the example here the name here you can see the meta name has been described the keywords the description and the meta name revised uh meta equi cookie user name and the time note you can check php and cookies tutorial for the complete details on cookies we will discuss further on php let's see there next further we see an html comments how the comments will work what are the comments comments is a piece of a code which is ignored by any web browser it is a good practice to add a commit comments in your html code especially in a complex documents to indicate sections of the document or any other notes to anyone looking at the code comments help you and others understand your code and increase code readability html comments are placed between the open angle presses not and tag so any content placed within the tag comment tag will be treated as a comment and it will be completely ignored by the browser now what do you mean by comment And for example, I can take a, there is an, a lot of code. There is an a here web page. You will get a code. You could not understand any bit of a code there. Where if you specify the comments, the like where the, uh, this has been used for this paragraph, and uh, it has been used as a header tag. So we can easily understand that. let's see the example here you can see or we can see a many more by coming uh, and then uh, further uh, for example i can explain a simple there now document type header see document header starts and where the document header ends this is a well practice maintain, maintained by the any coder because comments will work to understand a code for not you or not you and many other when you explain other when you refer to other refer to other person to see your code it will helps where it start where it ends if you use any any extra content there you can mention there and there are two types like a valid and a invalid comments comment does not nest which means a comment cannot put inside the another comment second double dash sequence may not appear inside the comment expected the part of the closing tag you must also make sure that there is no spaces starting of the comment string 
example here given the valid comment on will be wiped off by your user what is the difference between the this and this example let's see inside the body you are seeing the comment tag and now you are seeing a comment tag because the non space much not should be given here this is called an a valid comment when you given a space and it goes like any it take an any other it's like an a word or it's like an attack here this it tells this is on a not valid comment the multi line comment it is a simple as a normal comment only where we are using like a, in a one paragraph closing and ending when you are using in a multi line comment start with the tag and end with the when you have paragraph ends and when you want 2 3 4 5 lines then you have, you must be close that and it, the multi line comments on wait it will also be wiped off it will not take any other conditional comments the conditional comments it is also a helpful conditional comments only work with the internet explorer or a windows but they are ignored by the other browsers some of the browsers will support or not the conditional comments are not used so much in nowadays like just like i say if ie6 special instructions for ie6 here in this commenting style sheets the same commenting style sheets uh, we can see further this one and thank you this session we will come up with the next session with many more tags what are inside the element we have discussed just like a basic html tags elements attributes let's take a for the fresh up what we are discussed let's see how the html and what are the what we have discussed in this session the html how the how it has been created and how the hypertext and the markup language will work and basic html element the html tags we have been discussed the document structure how the html tags will work uh, and the non breaking spaces where you can enter a space or you can given by the nbsp keyword and html elements has been discussed and difference between the html tag and the html element and html attributes were discussed the name and the value and some of the core attributes the class the style and align width height it will include in the generic attributes and the formatting html formatting like bold italic etc and then underlined on the moon spaced font and we have discussed the meta tags adding a meta tags to your document and you can see comments it it will be wiped off you can use it is a good practice be used with the comments you will get an any code not in only html c c i c plus plus or any 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 language you written please write with an a comments conditional comments there are you know, just like in a single comment you use in a multi line comments on a single comments also commenting on a style sheets it will be discussed in the for the upcoming sessions these are the uh things what we discussed today let's we come up with the next session how the html the how to create an web page how to modify and